This is an introduction and overview of the advanced CDH game tracker template. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and use the tracker. So to get started, click on use template in the top right. This will create a copy of the template into your Google Drive, so make sure you're logged into your Google account. Once you've done that, the first thing I like to do is just rename this. So I'll name this Freedom Waffle CDH Tracker. And that's just so you can find it easier in your Google Drive. Then um, I like to go ahead and just add my name here. So I know that this is um, my copy. And if I send to anyone, they can see that it's mine. So this is the landing page. Uh, on this page, you're going to go ahead and see a overview of all your games um, and all your stats. So this is there's a lot more. Obviously, you can see all these sheets down here. This is going to be a lot more data. But if you want to just see your game data at a glance, this will this will show you quite a lot. There are also instructions here on how to set up the template, so if you ever need to reference back, uh, this should help. If you scroll down a little bit, uh, you'll see the explanation of win reasons. We'll get into that a little bit later, but if you're ever confused on the win reason, go ahead and reference back uh, to this page. And here's the change log. So if you ever need to update your tracker, then um, I'll have a separate video explaining how to do that, um, and you can see what's been updated uh, down here. So first things first. Um, We'll go ahead and check out the game data page. So this is where all your data is stored. This is just showing you what a what these games will look like once inputted. So what I like to do first off is go ahead and delete this data. Um, you can always reference this by going back to the template from the original link and I'll highlight these and press delete. That should clear it out. To add a new game, you'll go to this new game page here. Um, I will go ahead and double click to select the date. So I'll just go to the month. Currently it is June the 7th. So I will click right here. I'll change the venue. We'll leave it to online for now. If you set it specifically to online, it'll track your data separately from online versus paper. If you want that stat, just set it to online. Next, I'll go ahead and select some decks. There are some preloaded decks into the sheet. So that makes it a little bit easier. So it'll autofill. So I can, I'll just type, we'll say the first deck is Najila. We'll say the second deck is Winota. We'll say um, we were the third deck and we were playing Rograk Silas. Uh, and the last deck we'll say Dargo Thrasios. Next, this is this is corresponding to turn order. So uh, one, two, three, four. We were saying we're playing Rograk Silas. So we'll go ahead and uh, enter three here. And then um, let's say Najila won. Um, so we'll put the winner as number one. If you do set it to zero, this will count the game as a draw. So we'll set Najila as the winner. These cards are the most influential and impactful cards on the game. So this doesn't necessarily mean best cards that you saw in your deck. Um, this is just in the entire game. So for example, let's say one of the reasons we lost is our Underworld Breach was shut off by a Dranith Magistrate from uh, Winota. So let's just say that Dranith was one of the most impactful cards. Um, and then we'll say that um, Najila had a Rhystic Study, and that's why they won and they drew a ton of cards. So these, these two cards probably impacted the game most. This is maybe why we couldn't win and this is why they won. Um, and of course it's gonna be different for every game. I just try to, you know, use my best judgment to pick these two cards. Our mulligan, let's just say uh, this game we mold to six. And then the win condition, we'll say that Najila won with Thassa's Oracle. And I, I don't usually put Demonic Consultation, I just put Thassa's Oracle because I think it's pretty clear. If they won with Underworld Breach, and then after milling their entire deck, they played a Thassa's Oracle. I would instead put Underworld Breach because that's the combo that enabled them to win. I would never put Ad Nauseum here because Ad Nauseum just draws you the cards and is not a combo in its own. So let's say this was a tournament game. We can just click yes right here. And the win reason, let's say they, um, let's say that Dargo Thrasios had a turn where everyone else used all their counter magic on them and then um, Najila won after because no one else had interaction. We'll just put win after here, and that's a, that's a good place to be. For this one, I'm gonna leave notes blank, but you can put whatever notes you want about your game. So once you're finished, you'll go ahead and click the press to save button. That will clear the sheet, except for the venue and the date, um, and add it to the game data page. So you can see it will pop up right here. You might need to authorize the script. So if you do, just follow these instructions here to allow the script to run. Yeah, that's it. So you can just repeat that for each game. So once you've done that, you'll go to deck archetypes page. And here is where you sort your decks into the archetypes that they are. So we'll go ahead and put Dargothrasios in mid range. 
So that'll take this off the list. And then I think we'll put Najila in midrange as well. We'll put Rograx Silas in turbo and Winota in stacks. You can also ignore this, uh, this little warning here and ignore this little reference warning here. That's all working as intended. So yeah, once you have that, uh, you can go ahead and look at your stats. So there's a few things you can do. Um, here is the deck search. So this will search from decks that you've played and it will pull up data. Obviously you have to play a few games before this data actually becomes relevant. Once you play some more games that will fill itself out. It'll, it'll give you the win conditions, top five most impactful cards and all kinds of data. After that, you can check out your visual data page. Same thing here. These graphs are going to take a little while to, to fill out. But once you're done, it'll all fill itself out nicely. So personal stats page. So this page is showing stats on decks that you've piloted. So that's all that will show up here. So you can first off see decks piloted by games played. So this is just going to show Rogarak Silas because we've only input one game there. This is decks sorted by win rate, but it requires five games played. So that if you don't play one deck and win once, the win rate isn't super skewed here. So this will show the venues. You could put your LGS, you could put your friend's house, you could put a Discord or whatever you want to show. This will give you uh, your win rate on those and, and all your stats. And this is just sorted by win rate. Here is your overall stats in all games. And then here's your stats in paper versus online. Here's your tournament stats. And then here's your turn order stats. So this is basically just saying, what percentage of the time do I win going first? And this is split up in case you have any three-player games and four-player games, so the data isn't skewed. Here is your win reasons when you're winning and loss reasons when you're losing. So basically, this is just saying if an opponent won because they won after, how much of the time is that happening? So Najila, in that one game we put in, won after. And we haven't won any games yet, so it's not showing up. Here's your stats on mulligans. So... We have um, just all your mulligans uh, for all decks. Here's your mulligans for decks when you're winning uh, and, and mulligans for decks when you're losing. So right now we've lost 100% of the time when we mulligan to six because that's the only data. This is just a breakdown of stats versus matchups. So here is when any deck from this archetype is in your pod, here are the stats, right? So currently we've had, we played against one mid-range deck and one stacks deck. These are the stats for playing these archetypes. We've played one game of turbo. Um, and then here's the stats versus two of the same archetypes. So we actually played versus two mid-range decks. And so we're going to have that show up here. This is useful to see if you are really struggling when there's, you know, for example, two turbo decks in a pod, like, is that a very bad matchup for you? Or is that what you want to see? So that's everything for this page uh, for the personal stats. We'll go over to the overall stats page. And this is this is stats for every deck that you've seen. So this includes your opponent's decks. So here's all the decks by games played. None of them have played more than five games, so it's not going to sort by win rate yet. You'll see that, uh, of course, Najila is the only one that's won a game. Here are the turn, turn order stats from your opponents. So this is basically what percentage of the time all decks are winning. This is the turn order stats from all decks. So this is the percentage of the time that the player going first is winning, third, fourth, etc. This is the best cards. This is where you'll see all the best cards. There'll be a huge list here once you have more. Here's the win conditions, and this includes your opponent's win conditions. And then here is the win reason for all decks. Next, you'll have comprehensive uh, game stats. This is only for decks you've played. We've only played Rogue Silas, but this gives you a ton of data. If you want to dive in a little deeper to something, you can scroll through here and you get a lot of data here. So yeah, you can check that out. It's just a lot of the same data just pasted per deck so you can see it a little easier. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'll leave my Discord in the description of the video, and I hope you find this helpful.